Welcome back to mini tutorials for Adobe InDesign. Just as a reminder, the book for this series is available at Amazon.com. Uh, three topics that we're going to cover in this particular tutorial. This is six of 20 in the series. We're going to look at arranging objects. Uh, we're going to look at selecting objects and some special features there. And then we're also going to look at transparency and blending effects. So let's go ahead and open InDesign. Okay, I've created three circles and we're going to take a look a little bit at arranging these objects uh, moving them from front to back. So uh, right now this circle is in the front, this one is in the middle, that one is behind that. That order can be changed. Uh, so if I want to select the circle that's in front, I'm going to click on that once to select it. You can see from the edges that I have that selected now. Uh, we're going to do an object arrange. So when I do object arrange, I have a couple of options. I can send this back one level or I can send it all the way to the back. And right now I'm going to send it all the way to the back. So when I do that, it's going to stick that circle behind the other two. So I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to click on the object first and then I can go to Object, Arrange, and then I can send that to the back like that. You can keep doing that. We'll do it with the third one. Again, Object, Arrange, and I'm going to send that to the back. So now we're back in the original order that we started with. Um, when I, if I want to select something that's behind another object, and that's a frequent task, sometimes you can't reach it. If these are stacked perfectly on top of each other, it's very hard for me to reach the object that's behind there. So there is a tool in here to let you do that. Right now I'm selected on the front object, but if I go to Object Select, I can change that selection to the next object above or below where I am. So I'm going to go to next object below and it's changed that selection from the first object to the second object. So again that is under object select and then I can move that selection up or back as I need to. Now I want to change the colors on these objects a little bit. So I've got my swatches open. Um, I'm going to just select one here and we'll change the color uh, maybe to a yellow on that one and then we'll take this one and change that color to maybe a red like that. So we have three different colors now with these objects. Um, so I want to just kind of walk you through blending modes and opacity a little bit. Um, what I've done is I've opened up the effects panel. You can reach that from the FX button uh, which is up here in the options. It's also available under object effects. You can get to that effects panel. Um, what I've done is I've selected transparency here, the very first option, and what I'm going to do is change the opacity. Again, I can slide that opacity down and up so you can see objects through other objects. Um, I can also change what's called the blending of this. So if I multiply that, I get a slightly different effect on how the colors are working. If I screen it, it looks even different from that. And there are a lot of options here. This is luminosity. Um, what I get with that one. Um, I'm going to play around with these a little bit until you get used to how they work and understand uh, the different uses for them. Again, it's just kind of working with them until you know what it is you're shooting for. Um, I'll take it back to there and kind of play around with that. The blending modes, as I move this object around, let me say OK here, I move this object around, that blending mode is going to stay with this object. So it's just going to recalculate that based on where I put that. We've kind of walked through blending modes a little bit, but I want to show you one last little thing with these. Um, right now we've been working with the setting for object, but you can also change the blending mode just for the stroke or just for the fill. So for example, I can come in and take the, the stroke here, um, put that as an overlay, and it'll take that stroke out. Again, it's just on the object that I'm working with right here. But remember, I can apply that information to other objects using the eyedropper tool. I'm going to pick up my eyedropper, click on that, and I'm just going to transfer that information to the other objects. Let's see if we get kind of a different effect. In the next tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the shortcuts. Uh, we're also going to explore the quick apply, and we're going to take a look at the advanced options flyout.